John Gaston over there. He's getting through against the Bears, making an impact on defense. Terry and Melanie, parents of Clark Gaston, and I know they're proud of his effort here tonight. We've got Pickle for the Bears as they obviously have to punt with a fourth and nine. And we've got a timeout on the Bradley. Field. Bradley, I don't know if they had their numbers. Now there's number 60 trotting on right now. Looks like the numbers weren't there. Had one man short. One man short. So Pickle going to take a little water break right here. And Bradley down 24 to nothing. Let's go to commercial. We'll be with you in just a minute. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you at the Cleveland Animal Shelter. Yes, wonderful dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens arrive each day at Cleveland Animal Shelter, and each one needs a second chance at life in a forever home. Please adopt the pet of your dreams from our local shelter at 360 Hill Street and save a precious life. For information, call the shelter 479-2122 or exclusively Shelter Pets 559-8034. We are back with you, four minutes, 58 seconds, 24 to nothing. In the third quarter, Cleveland leading. Bradley forced to punt here, fourth and eight yards to go. Kellen Pickle standing on about the 16-yard line, going to punt to Jay Davis and Levante Barber on the Cleveland 35-yard line. Pickle calls for the ball. Snap, good snap. Punts away, headed towards Davis. Oh, and it skips, takes a great bounce for Bradley over his head. He's going to pick it up anyway. He's trying to get up the left side. Going to cut back over here to the right. He's got a little room. Davis. He's got some speed. Get up the sideline. He is very fast. Nice cutback. Takes on the tackler right there at the sidelines and out of bounds at about the 46-yard line for Cleveland. Jay kind of let that one roll to see when he was going to pick up, get the good bounce and bounced up and got a decent return. Well, most of the time, if you're a coach, you call for a guy to get away from the ball right there, but it's not with Jay Davis. Yeah. Jay's an athlete, and he's got great hands, great speed. If Jay wants to try to make a play, you let him go ahead. And he can make big plays happen. Let's take a replay right here. We're going to see the ball bounce over his head. He picked it up, and here he goes. Just missed right there. Pulls away from the shirt arm tackle. Going to cut back here to the right. And Jay, back to action now. Here we go. And a little bit of a... Darrell Woods, 42. That was Darrell Wood, but it, it, that play didn't go very smooth at all from the beginning. That was a tackle trap. That was Darrell Wood on the carry, and Darrell, nothing doing. It, it, the play didn't it start out very effective right off the bat. Tackle trap for the no, Raiders. It's second no, down and a little over 10. Darrell hadn't got the, the publicity that Barber and, and Davis has gotten this year, but he's he's a very good back. He is a good back, and he's also a good defensive player. As I said, we've, we've got several good plays Durrell on defense, making some big hits for the Raiders. Here we go. Wood again gets a little hole. He's got room. He'll make 11 yards right there. Durrell Wood for the Raiders. Picks up 11, picks up a first down. And the Raiders now, the offensive line opening holes. He didn't get touched for about five yards. Tackle by number five. Thompson on the stick, but not before. 11 yards downfield. For like the, the, uh, the Cleveland offensive line is just totally dominating Bradley's defense. That's what, I was, that's what I've been alluding to here lately. It looks like right now they're winning that battle big. And uh, they're moving the football Almost at will. Wood coming the other way now. He'll take it around the left side. He's not touched yet. Picks up four. There he sprints through the hole. He knocks one guy over. He will get away again. Will he do another? Good job. That's right almost there. a highlight run. There's a highlight run. So we get a quick replay on that one. 47 made a tackle. That Stewart. Oh, we got another flag, but what a nice run. That was a beautiful run. Here's the replay. Let's take a look. Wood squirts through a little hole right there. Still hasn't been touched, Johnny. And right there, hit, breaks the tackle, runs over. That's Kellen Pickle, number 12. Gets rid of the shirt there. And right now, Thompson's going to make the final stop. Good run to Rail Wood, and the flag was it's on Bradley. the Bradley Bears. Didn't see what happened. What was the call on the flag? Did you hear it? Uh, I think it was a late hit. It was. Right there, you saw it. Number, it looked like they were piling on right there after the tackle was made. So they tack yeah. on some more. Drill, the very excited runner, very explosive. 
Terrell Wood, a couple of nice runs back to back. Bradley with a big penalty now, adding on to the woes. To okay, the now we're penalizing Cleveland. Uh, we must have had we must have had some words after that or something. All right, the Still Raiders down. must have been doing a little talking or something after that play. Must have been. And they are penalized, more likely a uh, unsportsmanlike, I would say. I didn't know who or what, but it just about has to be unsportsmanlike on the Raiders. Must have been a little talking after that run by Wood. Don't know who it's on. Right there's Davis coming out the right side. Escapes one guy, but there's a lot of bears around there. Still gets by a few. Still down the sidelines. And Davis gets down to about the 17. I thought Jay was uh, going to get dropped for about a 10-yard loss. It looked like he made, as they say, the cliche, something out of nothing. Let's take a look on our screen, Johnny Davis again. He's going to avoid a couple tackles here. Got a little bit of a stiff arm. Nice stiff arm. Look at that. On top of the helmet, say, you are not taking me right here. Now watch him skip up through here. Good job, Jay Davis. The speed and the athleticism of Cleveland now starting to take control. 3-11 to go in the quarter, 24 to nothing, Blue Raiders. Chamblin takes the snap, fakes the barber, looking for Rankin. He's going to hit the short man. That's Davis. Mountain one tackle misses. Goes on down for a first down. Trying to go to Rankin to begin with. Dumped off to Davis on the short route, and Davis yeah. is going to pick up 12. Great job by Shamblin. That was a good job. He, he, he was tempted to go on downfield, made the right decision, dropped it off short, and the Raiders just taking over. We're down to, we are down to the 11-yard line for the Blue Raiders. Bradley desperately trying to hang on, keep this thing somewhat of a ball game here, down 24 to nothing, though the Raiders look like they're not going to be denied. Shamblin sends Wood out to this side. Wood comes through, hits a hole, trying to pump in the feet, and he gets hung on to, spun around. Didn't see the tackle. Tackle by number 48. Uh, they called Jacob Sluter on the tackle. And uh, down for a Raider, down. We got a blue Raider on the field. And looks like to be in a little pain. I think that's Castile who caught the earlier touchdown on the gadget play. It is. It's Jared Castile. Castile. And they rolled him over to his back. There. What are they looking at? We got him on screen. They're looking at his knee or ankle there. Down on his lower, his right leg, it appears to be that they're working on. So we hope uh, we hope Jared's okay. We got time to, to run a. Uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna see a replay. See if we can pick up what happened. Let's do that. Let's take a look and see if we can uh, see what happened to Jared Castile. We certainly hope he's all right. Number 16. And we'll find him on the screen here. Where is he? He's gonna be in on a tackle here. And there's Wood get dragged down by the shirt and spun around. Castile is on the ground already. So whatever happened to him, it just already happened right before Wood was spun around and thrown down on him. Let's take a quick break real quick, and we'll be right back. It looks like they're going to take a little time for Jared. Let's hope he's all right. We're back, and as we come back to you, Levante Barber just drug the ball a little bit closer to the goal line, down to the three-yard line. Excuse me, down to the five-yard line are the Raiders. Third down now and seven to go. 153 on the clock in the third quarter and counting. 24 to zero is your score. The Raiders looking to add to what now appears to be a solid win in the W column for the Raiders. Shamblin has got 
number Barber. That's Barber, and he is tripped up. Looked like he was going to sprint into the end zone off the, off the right side, off the right end. Is dragged down there. I think he... Looks like close. he tripped over uh, Alan Jarman, his, uh, one of his guards or tackles. One of his blockers out there, and it's fourth down. So the Raiders have a long three to go. They may go for points right here. Of course, they've always got the ever-steady David Reeves. They're going to call a timeout and talk about it. Here's a replay. Barber, yes, he did. Johnny, you can see right there on your replay, he tripped over his own man's leg. So he is down right there. I think he probably would have scored. It, it looked like he was going to score. And Cleveland has talked about it for a second. They Cleveland. decide, let's tack up a couple more just to make sure this game's well under control. 24 to nothing. They're going to put Reeves on the field. And as we have said time and again tonight, that's an automatic three. Unless there's a mishandled snap, uh, David Reeves will always, always tack it on for you. Bradley, here's a slow-mo again. You can see he gets, he gets his leg caught up with Jarman in front of him, and he trips really without, uh, without being tackled. And as you say, Johnny, it looked like he might have sprinted on around the end there and got in the end zone. And we got a man trotting off the field. Now, Jared Castile, for those of you that are uh, interested right before that commercial, he did limp off, but he appeared to be going mostly under his own power, so I think he's all right. We'll hope so as Reeves lines up to tack on three more for the Raiders. And we move to the Raiders on the left side. Like That's Darrell Woods Darrell moved, number 42. Wood. He's a little excited. Yeah. And he... Backs Reeves up a little bit, but from the vantage point they're at right now, that should not make a difference. But they tack on five. As Wood jumps. So they'll start over again and line it back up. A minute ten to go. Mike Reeves has kicked two 47 yarders this year. And ladies and gentlemen, that, that's NFL quality, 47 yards. This man's got a leg. He also holds a school record at, at 47. And did that one get through or not? No. So we saw a rarity here tonight. David Reeves missed a field goal. That does not happen to that young man very often. And David Reeves misses left. It's 106 to go in the corner. Quarter 24 to nothing. Raiders still on top. So that means the Bears take over from the spot where the kick was kicked at. And that is at the 20. No, that's at the, yeah, 21 yard line. And we're, we've got a quick replay, and let's take a look. The ball's going to sail, and you can barely see it up there right above the upright, the left upright, but it is wide left, and we've got Bradley now with the football. Here it is. It's Heffington still playing quarterback, and nothing doing. 56, 56. for the Raiders. All over it. And that is Alvin Jarman again. So nice play, Allen Jarman. Jar that Jarman's one. had a, a good game defensively. He's made a couple big plays. He has had a good game. Both defensive ends are playing well. They really are. They're all over that play right there as Jarman throws it for a three-yard loss. So the Bears, just every time they try to get something going, it just seems like from a big hole, Johnny. They're just not, you know, early on they had a couple, couple drives, started with some good field position, but had nothing since then. Yeah. 27 seconds to go. We're counting down in the third quarter. Heppington, and as the Raiders shift, makes the handoff. He's going to be nailed again, and it's given up. It's going to be an incomplete pass. I thought that it was, might uh, be a fumble. That was Gaston again from that and backside defensive end. Clark Gaston, the young man is stepping up and putting some wood on people, hitting them hard. Heppington, Heppington taking the blunt of that. Let's take a look. We've got a replay for you. And watch Clark Gaston and stick him right there and almost picked off for the Raiders right there and that would have been an easy six but it was ruled an incomplete pass dropped on the field right there by number 14 had a chance to take that in couldn't quite hang on Bears now third and 14 Heffington under center he's going to roll again and not much time again throws Jay it up Davis. picked off by Jay, Jay Davis. Davis he he's gone. will go Touchdown, Blue Raiders. 
we told you he was an athlete, and Cleveland is on. We got another flag. I don't know who this is on. Jay Davis picking it, and you can't blame Heffington on the pass. Heffington's not getting a chance to breathe back there as he was hammered right as he threw. Touchdown was good, unsportsmanlike and conduct. And that's the second unsportsmanlike on the Raiders. Must be doing a little talking after the scoring, but yeah. uh, uh, it, was celebrating. Point, it doesn't matter. 30 to nothing. That was celebrating in the end zone. And do we got a replay real quick? Here we go. Let's take a look. Hevick is going to be hit as he throws. We got Davis now right as the pass is uh, picked. Again, that was not that inaccurate a pass. He got nailed right before he threw the ball. And Jay Davis picks it, and he's gone. Too quick, too fast. Into the end zone. It's a Blue Raiders score. A, Six for Davis on the pick. It's 30 to nothing. This is a 35-yard extra point. And, yeah, we've got a 35-yard we've got a extra point, as Johnny mentioned, by David Reeves, who, as a rarity, missed the field goal a moment ago, but going to tack on one right here. And he's back to form. No, no he's not. That's the first extra left. point he's missed. That's his first. He was nine for nine. It looked to me. Look at that. Just over the right. They're showing that again. 30 to nothing is your score. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout as we leave you. 30 to nothing, Blue Raiders. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you at the Cleveland Animal Shelter. Yes, wonderful dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens arrive each day at Cleveland Animal Shelter, and each one needs a second chance at life in a forever home. Please adopt the pet of your dreams from our local shelter at 360 Hill Street and save a precious life. For information, call the shelter 479-2122 or exclusively Shelter Pets 559-8034. We are back with you and 30 to zero, as you can see on your scoreboard, on your screen, third quarter, just a few seconds left. Reeves will kick off to the Bears and it's to the short man and he bumps into his own player, hit hard right there. Kevin Stewart on the return, makes it up to the 28 yard line of Bradley Central, 11 seconds to go. Bradley trying to play for a little pride right now, see if they can't get something going, because the Blue Raiders, to be quite frank about it, have taken this football game over. Offensively, defensively, they're in control, and they are starting to tee off on the Bears right now. That was C.J. Williams that made the tackle on that kickoff. We've got Moody back in, so we're still rotating quarterbacks for the Bradley Bears. 11 seconds to go, number 11 under center. Hands off, they're gonna start running a little bit now. Woods. And on the carry, Andrew Walsh, sophomore, and that ticked down your quarter. And we're gonna to go to another quick commercial break here in just a second, 30 to nothing. That's your third quarter score. Raiders hold up their hand for quarter number four. At this point, they're in a runaway. We'll be back with you in just a minute. with you from Benny Monroe Stadium, Raider Field. Mike Cragen and Johnny Borders on the call here for you tonight. And the Blue Raiders are flexing their muscles quite handsomely right now as they are up 30 to zero over the Bradley Central Bears and this crosstown rivalry. A lot of emotion, especially early on. First quarter, a little bit of life for the Bears, changed by a couple quick turnovers. And since then, the Blue Raiders, after a couple penalties cost them, have actually, quite honestly, just taken this game by the throat. And Mike, the, the, the Cleveland defense has just dominated this game, and they, they they're laying back their ears and going now. 
it's just uh, no stopping them. It'll be Bradley's football, and it'll be second down from the eight, I mean, eight yards away from the 32-yard line, second and eight. Moody under center. And it's a handoff out here to Trey Mays. He, no, it's not. It was up the middle. I, I went with the fake. It went to either Walsh or Stewart in there. Let's take a look. Stewart on the carry. And he, no, that's Walsh. That was Walsh on the carry, and Walsh is limping back in. That was Philip Thomas on the tackle. And Philip Thomas, Walsh looks to be, it looks like his ankle's bothering him a little bit. I don't know if he is uh, able to do much with it right now, but he's, He's sucking it up and staying right with him as he limps off here to the right side of the formation. And Moody, again, still under center. It's third down and about three. And it is a fumble. A fumble on the play, I believe. That exchange didn't look like it ever even started. And the Raiders recover it. Johnny, who was who jumped was, on the play? That was Alan Jarman again. Alan Jarman. We have talked about him all night long. So Alan Jarman with a big football game. Here we got a replay. Let's see if we can see what happened in there. Uh, just a bad exchange. He's hit real quick. Number 56 is the one that really Alan Jarman jammed up that play. Alan Jarman. And Cordell Bowerman was in there too. Cordell may have recovered the fumble. I couldn't tell. Raiders have it again. Still got Chamblin in there, handing off to Barber, a little double handoff inside reverse, and that's Davis, and he's still on his feet, still on his feet. And Davis fighting his way through about five tacklers, carrying them on down the field for about 15 yards. Jay Davis keeping those feet pumping, great effort. That's a good looking inside reverse out of that wing tee. And the Raiders, as we said, starting to take over. Bradley Bears trying to hang in. But uh, right now, and Moody trots off and kind of hanging that shoulder right there. His right arm to his side might have had a slight injury. Number 11 trots off the field. Here we go. This is Pete Miller. Pete Miller. I think they're throwing a pass. Touchdown. It's open. And it's picked. And I believe that's Thompson with a pick. He's got some room. He could. He might. It looks like he will. Bradley may get on the board. It's a Bradley Central Bear touchdown. Nobody in sight picked in the end zone. Touchdown for the Bradley Central Bears. So a little bit of redemption. Although it's way late, it still is points for the Bears. And they'll take anything they can get right now. As Lamar Thompson picks the football all the way from the end zone. Johnny, what is that, about 108 yards? He was he, deep he, in the corner. He was deep in the end zone. That that might be an all-time uh, record for Raider Field. We need to check that one out. Could be. Now that looked like it'd be a 108-yard return for the Bears, lining up to go for two now, 30 to six. And they may be going to kick. This is just kind of a formation they do before they kick. And let's see what they do. They're shifting back over. Okay, here we go. Miguel Armenta, number 10. Another great kicker, just hadn't had a chance to show us stuff here tonight. Miguel, and it's Bad. also wide, so nothing doing there. What? Do we have a replay on that kickoff return? I hope we do. Let's take a look if we do. We're queuing it up right now. That thing was 100. Let's see how far that was, Johnny. That's 106. Of course, you've got 10-yard end zone. I don't know if we've got the pick. I said kickoff return. Here it is. Let's see where he's at on the pick. It looked like it was going to be a good pass. Number but Thompson five. reads it, turns into a receiver himself. I thought it was going to be a touchdown. Thompson, number five. Now watch here as Thompson, great effort. That's just a great effort. Gets back. Look where he's got the ball. Now he's turning around right here. Oh, my goodness. That's got to be, be a record. That's got to be a record. That's 109 <laughs> and a half yards. 109 and one half yards. So the highlight for Bradley tonight, 109 and a half yard. That was almost an m, &M Mars. Return <laughs> on an interception. So ladies and gentlemen, you will not see that in any level of football. 109 and a half yards. So that's the 
highlight of this game so far for the Bradley Bears, that was Lamar Thompson. Great play. He took it all the way back. And uh, I thought for a moment that was a pretty good pass, really, by I, yeah, Miller. I thought it was a touchdown. It looked like a touchdown, so you can't fault Pete Miller. That was just some athleticism on Thompson's yeah. part. It was and a good-looking pass. It's Lamar played it good. He made a great play. So the Bears have a little bit to cheer about. 30 to 6 now, 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. As we just saw a record, I don't think there's any doubt. It's got to be a record. It could be a world yards. record. It could be It could be a, a world record. That's correct. Here we go. The Bears are meant to kick it in deep, and it's going to go out of bounds. So it'll be a penalty. Skips out at the two. Bradley kicks it out of bounds. Cleveland will take over with good field position again, Johnny, on the 45-yard line. So we've got the That's Raiders a... up 30-6. to six. They're going to get a great spot of the football on 35. I said 45. On a 35-yard line, 30-6, to six, Blue Raiders with the football. You know, every time these two teams play, something wild and crazy happens. We have something strange. We, we had a lot of records uh, broken in the first game. Of course, we had the Mud Bowl last game. There's always something to talk about. That'll be talked about for quite a while. Here we go. Pete Miller still in a quarterback. Hands off to Levante. Nothing doing. Levante dragged down on the right side there. And excited is... 42 40, made the tackle. 42. Jacob Sluter. Jacob Sluter again. The young man's playing a great ball game. He's the guy you're seeing on our public education foundation. You know, when we were watching uh, videos this week on Bradley, uh, Sluter stood out. I mean, he's a great defensive player. He's having a great game tonight, Jacob Sluter, nice young man too. And Pete Miller now calling the signals for the Raiders. Hands it off out here to the outside end. He is knocked down, and it looks like uh, just another yard or two is all. And that's number five for the Raiders. Wellington, we got in there. We've got Demarius some, Wellington, number five. Wellington, Demetrius Wellington. We've got some substitutes now in the backfield for the Raiders. Adam Derrick coming in back there now. Number 11. No, that's Desmond Rankin coming back in there, number, number 11. I have to get Adam Derrick's baseball number back when he played for the Braves. Here we go, number 44, Barber in the backfield, along with Hampton. Miller, hands off, Barber, double reverse, inside reverse. Wellington. Wellington. He's got the ball, he comes inside, he runs right over a Bradley Tackler and picks up 16. So Demetrius Wellington stuck his head down Went over the tackler, and he picked up about 16. Here we go, the replay. Let's take a look. We've got a handoff inside reverse to Wellington right here. Missed tackle there on the hit straight over his man. 16-yard run. Nice hard running by Wellington. Back to live action. Still got Miller at the helm now. Pete Miller, Al Miller's son. Pitches out. That's Plummer. And Plummer's going to hit the outside. Turn on the gas. He could. Plummer, he may go. He is dragged oh. down inside the five. Great run. Good burst of speed by the sophomore. You know, I said earlier that Will's probably as fast as anyone on that team, and you saw it there. He can really accelerate. I didn't see who got a shirt tail tackle on him there, but great burst. Here we go. Watch him hit outside off off that tackle, cuts it back up. Nice job, now he turns on the Jets right there. Out running, it's, that's, that's Lamar Thompson, the guy that just had the big kickoff return. And Lamar, just enough, catches him by the shirt and then go down to the ankles. Here we go, we're back to live action, Plummer again. And how about Lamar Thompson still having the speed to catch him after that, after that return? That's good. <laughs> Great run there by Plummer. Yeah. Great effort by Thompson. And Plummer tried it again right there, and no gain that time. Raiders Cordell down. Bowerman is the fullback now for Cleveland. So they're giving Bowerman a chance to carry the ball. Real quickly, number six, Pete Miller, been your holder on the snaps, is Al Miller's uh, uh, son, the guy that's brought to you the on-the-field reports and with the pregame. Al Miller, quite proud of his son Pete, also a good wrestler on that Cleveland High School wrestling team. As Cleveland... Going to try to tack on some more. They're putting in some substitutes. 
Looks like we have a timeout on the field. That's Thompson trotting off. But uh, Pete Miller quarterbacking. We'll be right back in a minute. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you. Somebody needs you at the Cleveland Animal Shelter. Yes, wonderful dogs, cats, puppies, and kittens arrive each day at Cleveland Animal Shelter, and each one needs a second chance at life in a forever home. Please adopt the pet of your dreams from our local shelter at 360 Hill Street and save a precious life. For information, call the shelter 479-2122 or exclusively Shelter Pets 559-8034. Back to live action, Raider football. Trying to pour on the gas right here and put up a few more points. 30 to six lead for the Raiders. Third down, ball on the six. And number six, pitches back to, it looks like Hampton on the carry. Will Plummer. No, Plummer again on the carry. Hampton's 30, I saw the, the three, it looks like a 3-0, it was 2-0, that's Plummer. And we've got fourth down, he drags it to the three yard line and Kellen Pickle on the tackle for the Bears. Fourth down, goal, and I said for the Bears, for the Raiders, fourth down and goal. Here comes Rankin in with the play. They're going to go ahead and try to score from here, and with a 30-6 to six lead, well in control, they're going to go ahead and try to put up some more. Here we are. Pete Miller brings them up to the line. And we've got... Plummer at the tailback spot. See if they give him the ball after that early carry. They fake a pitch and hand it off inside Darrell to number Wood. 42, Darrell Wood. He, well, they didn't signal touchdown. Oh. And they say his knee must have hit because it looked down. to me like he scored. So I was about ready to call a touchdown. We got a quick replay maybe. His knee must have went down. He looked to go into the end zone from our vantage point. Let's see it. Right there it is. Right there and that uh, that was close but it looked like a good call yeah it was a good call and that's about the six inch line but the uh, referees making the right call right there i was going to chalk up six but from our vantage point it looked like that but he did not quite get in good call by the referees 30 to 6 bradley in a deep hole playing from their own end zone right now and they've got moody back under center as they've been rotating quarterbacks all night long it's a handoff here, and that's Trey Mays, I believe, on the carry. Doesn't get much. Brandon Brown. And number four, Brandon Brown has been a thorn in the Bears' side all night long because he's been making a lot of stops for the Raiders on defense. We're down to 545 and ticking as we have the Raiders well in control, 36 to nothing. The ball's Live. on the... It's on the inside of the one-yard line. Live from Benny Monroe Stadium, Raider Field, and the Raiders are putting on a show for the home crowd tonight. Great weather, great night for football. A lot of action in this game, and it looks like we have a safety. sack. It's a safety. Raider defense playing unbelievable all night long. Who got it? That was Eric Mays. Eric Mays, you sophomore. mentioned him a little bit ago, a sophomore. He gets to put two on the board for his teammates, Eric Mays. And how about that for the young man, sophomore, getting a chance to play some tonight, 32 to six. The Raiders defense, Johnny, has been the name of the game. We're gonna take a look on a replay. As back to pass, nothing doing. It looked like uh, 70 was in there also. 41, Rashawn Johnson and was Rashawn in on that. Rashawn Johnson, Mays, they're just, they're just blowing right by him. 32 to 6, 5.21 to go as the Blue Raiders score two. And unfortunately for the Bears, they're going to get the ball back. As you know, a safety will require the Bears to kick back to the Raiders again. 32 to 6, the Raiders lead. So the Raiders not only lead 32 to 6, they're going to get the football. And they have to kick from their 20. So. The Raiders will end up with good field position again. 32 to six. Leon Brown's Raiders way out in front now and he is gonna be the recipient of the Sports Vision Trophy. We will award it after the game. Time providing, we're gonna show that presentation. As Miguel Armenta gets ready to kick off for the Bears. 
Arment the, the kick, and Levante Barber's going to get it on about his own 24-yard line. Levante looking for a hole, stacked up a little bit by his own man, takes a cut up the field, crosses midfield by about a foot, and Levante has the ball on the other side of the field now as the Raiders on offense again, 32-6. to six. Great field position again. I think Coach Brown's going to be subbing quite uh, frequently on this drive. Getting a chance to play a lot of people, so a lot of give us if we're not on top of it. We're going to have to try to pick up these people as they're coming in. Healthy lead, so they're letting some kids play that don't normally get to see action. Right now, Pete Miller at the quarterback slot for the Raiders. Looks like Plummer's still in the backfield. And Pete Miller brings him up to the line. Fake pitch to Plummer, inside handoff on the reverse. That was Wellington. Wellington. Wellington picks up a couple. Second and eight, 32 to six, Raider lead, five minutes to go. Second down and eight as the Raiders now. Going to try to run the football on in and see if they can't talk, tack on to some more points. Miller. At the quarterback spot, he will pitch to Plummer. Little skip inside and doesn't work. And that is picked up by 48 Stewart, I believe. 88 made the tackle. 88. 88. Looked like 48. That was 88 on the defensive stop for the Bears. And it's third and 11 now as Plummer loses a couple. 4.16 to go, 32 to 6 Raider lead. Third down from the 49 yard line. Pete Miller takes the snap, fakes the pitch. He's going to roll with the Pete's chef down the it. right sidelines. He gets a first down and nice Great run. run. He looked like he may run out of bounds, but cut it back in. Enough for the first down. And Al Miller's got a grin on his face down. That was a good-looking play. That was a nice run through the uh, Bears off. They looking for looking for one of them backs. Watch Pete Miller now on the replay as he's going to make the corner. Showed a little speed of his own right here. Looks like he might be run out of bounds. Stewart doesn't quite get him. Nice cut back. Kept his feet and did a good job shifting the ball to the other side yeah. right there. So a lot of a lot of good. Uh, a lot of good fundamentals on one play by Pete Miller. Good job, Pete. Pete's one of the toughest kids I've ever coached. He's a tough young man, and he's on the 33-yard line leading his Blue Raiders, trying to get another score. And we got uh, Plummer again on well, the outside. He loses one man. Oh, my goodness. Feet taken out from under him. Didn't see who had to hit, but it was a good one. As Plummer picks up about two, ran about 12. Brian Stewart in on the stop. And let's take a look again. Watch him get his feet knocked out from under himself here. Here we go. Plummer does shake this first tackle. And it looks like he was going to be brought down. Scoots away. And he's going to be hit. Feet taken out of, from under him right here. Nice hit. Hung on to the football. Good job. Here we go. Back to live action. And it's up the middle. And it's Bowerman. Bowerman with the football. Number 22, Cordell Bowerman. It, he gets in there, Bowman on the stick. As the Raiders now just running the clock down, 2.24 to play, 2.23. Very large lead for the Cleveland Blue Raiders. The ball now on the, on the 24 yard line. And they're just uh, burning the clock up. Well in control, well in command. 32 to six Raiders. Miller has him at the line. Third down and just a yard to go for a first down. Ball. There's Miller again on the same place. Or almost uh, broke last time, and he's going to break it up. He gets away from a couple tackles. Pete Miller. <laughs> Great run. Another good run. And Great down run. to the nine-yard line. And I see Daddy on the sidelines there ha hanging on to that Sports Vision trophy. And I tell you what, he's feeling mighty good that Pete Miller's showing some Showing us some uh, good things down there. Great runs. Two Pete nice rushed runs. for 50 yards in two plays. And he looked to be stopped a couple times. So he broke Quick. a few tackles yeah. to get there. 
power runner, Pete Miller. That's right. Put him as fullback next week, Coach Brown, because he's ready to roll. Here we go. Raiders trying to tack on some more first and goal. Bears defense, but we haven't really said much of that, but it's hard to stop anybody. You know, somebody, oh, Wellington goes down. Some of these guys that may be breaking some tackles, you know, you got to kind of feel for those Bears being on defense all night here. As Cleveland's been ramming it down their throat, and uh, they don't have a lot of energy left. They're still trying to hang on. So these Raider backs are getting uh, getting some nice yardage because these Bradley Bear defenders have to be real tired. We're down to a minute three to go. As the Bears seem like they've been on defense now for for about 80% of the football game. And the Raiders, 52, 51 seconds to go in the ball game, are going to claim their third straight Sports Vision trophy in the rivalry renewed. We have a penalty first. And we're going to stay with you right after the game is over. We'll take a few breaks as we uh, as we wind down to 10 o'clock, but we're going to be with you to 10 o'clock. But we'll stay with you for a quick presentation in the middle of the celebration. And trying to see how much time we got here. we got about 30 minutes to go. So the Raiders now line up with Pete Miller. And he lost the snap, so the Bears might escape. Another score, 27 seconds to go. It was a bad exchange. I didn't see exactly what happened right there, but we had an exchange that was not made. So the Bears will more likely be able to keep the score right here at 32 to 6. I don't know if they'll do anything but sit on the football and let this game get over with. We have about 15 minutes till 10 o'clock, I guess, so we will stay with you till 10. We'll get a presentation, maybe a word with Coach Brown, maybe a word with a Raider or two, and the Bears take over. 27 seconds to go. And that's a rollout. Who's got the football? That's not your normal quarterback. Chris Rogers, the he's a freshman quarterbacking for the Bears right now. This is his first varsity action. He gets one play, and that will be the end of the ball game. The Cleveland Blue Raiders roll over the Bears tonight, 32-6, to and that is your game. Ladies and gentlemen, from Raider Field, the Blue Raiders coming across, feeling pretty good, obviously, about the outcome. The Bradley Bears, and we've seen a few things. Uh, one bright spot for the Bears, 109 and a half yard return. Unbelievable play there. That's really the only thing they've got to smile about, because other than that, the Raider defense was all over the Bears tonight as both teams congratulated one another on the field. And again, Al Miller will make his way or have uh, have uh, Coach Brown make his way over to him, one or the other down there, to present the Sports Vision Trophy. It looks like Alan Jones, who put on this event tonight, is down there to participate in that presentation. Alan Jones checking the cash. Jones Management Services has brought this great community service to you, and we appreciate that very, very much. And he's going to participate in the presentation on the field of the Sports Vision Trophy. It looks like Al Morris is going to go grab uh, Coach Brown and the Raiders here after they go through the sportsmanship procedures here because, uh, as we mentioned several times this week, these guys are friends off the field. The Raiders too much for the Bears on the field tonight, but they're congratulating one another. Good sportsmanship going on. And we're going to get a shot here. Let's stay with it. We're going to get a shot, stay with what we've got here, and we will get, get Alan Jones giving the Sports Vision Trophy to the Blue Raiders and Coach Brown. And you see some celebration going on. Al Miller down there ready to present the trophy. Alan Jones with him. As they may, they may gather for a quick prayer on the field, let's go ahead and stay with it right here so we get, to get in on the presentation. I don't know if our uh, buddy Dwayne back there is getting some stats. If we can get them to you, we will. We're on till 10 o'clock. We'll have to go off a minute before or so as we give you our credits and thank everybody real quickly while they're uh, huddling uh, for prayer in the middle there of the football field. Everybody uh, gathering together in brotherhood right there, which is a great sight. But uh, a lot of people I want to thank. Watch your credits right there. 
And of course, checking the cash, Jones Management Services and all the people involved there. Sandra Rowland, a great uh, shoulder to lean on for me throughout. I want to thank Johnny Borders for all the help he's given me here tonight in the booth. Knows the Raider program inside and out. Uh, gave you some great insight tonight. Of course, Al Miller on the field. He's going to give us the presentation of the trophy. Going to try to get all these thank yous out of the way. Both coaches, both teams for giving us 100% because uh, the game a little one-sided, but you know those Bears were out there giving it everything they had, and uh, hopefully they'll have some brighter games uh, coming down the road for them. And we're going to toss it down to Al Miller for the presentation. So let's see uh, Alan Jones, Al Miller, the Blue Raiders, Coach Leon Brown. Here we go. Okay, we're down here on the field. We have a lot of activities going on, a lot of reporters and all. It's getting quite noisy, if you can hear. Back up here a little bit. Real quick, I'd like Alan Jones of Jones Management to make the award to Coach Brown. Okay. Real quick, Alan Jones of Jones Management, check into cash to make the presentation. Coach Brown, for the third year in a row, uh, Jones Management, check into cash, and Sports Vision is pleased to uh, give you this trophy. Thank you very much. like somebody took a dousing. I don't know if they got Coach Brown, but they tried to get somebody down there with a the water bucket. The Raiders uh, feeling good about it. And that goes right back into the, where we got it earlier in the week. We picked it up on Wednesday out of the Raider trophy case. Heads right back in there, Johnny, a dominating performance. Yeah, this uh, the mistakes in the first half really cost Bradley. It kept them out of the game totally. But they were major mistakes on both teams' part. I think the, the probably the deciding factor was the Cleveland defense. They totally dominated Bradley. Really had a shutout because the touchdown came on an offensive interception. They but, did, uh, and they took over. And how many points have they given up this year? They shut out Red Bank last week. Uh, they they gave up. Uh, did they give up any points to, to Morristown? Yes, they did. No, no, that was a shutout. That was a shutout. Uh, so. I think Hickson Hickson had uh, 19 points or so, but they only give. They're averaging eight points a game, and had a, this is uh, two shutouts, and then in this game, but uh, the defense has, has definitely been the, the big factor in Cleveland's team this year. Well, they showed it tonight, as you say, a dominating performance. There's no other words to describe it, 32 to six. No, something, else, something else I liked tonight, what I saw, Coach Brown uh, opened up that offense a little bit. And he's given Tanner uh, a chance to throw the ball, and that's really gonna take some heat off of Levante and Jay in the future games. All right, we're going to go back down to the field. Al has, uh, looks like David Reeves. I can't tell who else is standing beside him. His number's off. Let's go down to Al Miller for an interview. We're back at Benny Monroe Stadium down trying to catch a couple of the players. I've got kicker David Reeves and defensive and offensive lineman Alan Jarman here. David, good kicking. I think your punting really pinned them back all night. Thanks. Uh, I, it's not just me. It's the good blocking, good snap, good everything, and just get the ball down the field. That's what I'm supposed to do. It is, but that booming kick against the wind, I see the flag from here. That was one of the prettiest punts you've made this year. Yeah, I agree with it, but, I mean, I couldn't have done it without a good snap and a good blocking. Alan, I hear several reporters asking the control of the the, the line, the way y'all control Bradley's offensive line. How was it in the trenches? Hey, uh, I mean, I got the guys around me helping me out. We communicate. Uh, you know, when you got guys like that who are this smart and know how to run the offense, it makes my life a lot easier. You know, I'm not, I don't normally start. We had an injury, I had to step up. But if it wasn't for, you know, Brackett and uh, Ridgeway and all those other guys, I wouldn't have been able to do it. And I just want to give a big shout-out to them. How close to a safety down there did you have their quarterback? Oh, man, inch. <laughs> and got one more. Levante, Bar Levante, I interviewed you last year on the sideline, but you weren't in these uniforms. How about the difference? How do you feel this year at standing on the sidelines last year? Uh, I mean, it feels great to come back here my senior year. This is my last chance to ever play them. That's what we were saying in the locker room. We ain't going to get another chance at them, so we can't say, well, we'll get them next year. We had to seize the moment, and I felt like we did. And we finally played a, a good game on both sides of the ball. Offensively, we came to play tonight, and defense did what they've been doing all year. Well, I know how disappointed you were last year. You played outstanding game tonight. Good luck. Congratulations, guys. Okay, thank you. All right. That's it from the field. Final score, Cleveland 32, Bradley 6 from Raider Field. 
All right, good job, uh, Al Miller down there on the field. Done a great job for us all night. You heard from Levante Barber, Alan Jarman, and uh, kicker extraordinaire David Reeves. They just asked me upstairs if we wanted to take a break. We may go ahead and run one more before we come back and close it, so I'll give them a little time to set up. We've got a, a minute or two. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do, let's do not go. I, I threw you off, gentlemen, and this is live TV. I appreciate them going with the flow with me. We have uh, Dwayne Shriver here, our stat man. Let's go ahead and wrap it up because uh, pretty stats for the Raiders, and, he's, and, and we're going to get Dwayne Shriver to come in and wrap it up as far as the stats. Well, we're going to go to a commercial first. We'll be back in a minute. We've got a shot of the Sports Vision Trophy, a little stop action there with Coach Brown and his players hanging on to it, and we're going to quickly wrap up here. We've got Dwayne Shriver, our stat man and our executive director of the Bradley Cleveland Public Foundation, going to let you know just exactly uh, how that performance went for the Raiders tonight. Go ahead, Dwayne. Well, Mike, in the second half, uh, the Bears had a tough outing there. Uh, they ended up the, with a, for the night, they had 44 yards rushing. 80 yards passing for a total of 124 yards. They had uh, four, uh, uh, eight penalties for 90 yards. That didn't didn't help. Their big big offense was the, the interception for a for a touchdown and I guess 109 I, and a half yards. 109 and a half <laughs> yards. I don't think I've ever seen in any level high school, college, professional any any interception return that that far. That was exciting. I don't care. I'm sure that was a one one bright spot for the Bears, but uh, I'm sure they would have liked to had a whole lot more. But there's really not much uh, offense that we can really talk about in the second half. Uh, the Raiders ended up the evening with uh, 267 yards rushing, 65 yards passing. Uh, Le Levante Barber uh, had uh, 24 carries for 75 yards and two TDs, and. Uh, uh, Davis had uh, six six carries for 53 yards, and he had one TD interception for a TD. And then there were several backs that, that ran real well for the Raiders, uh, coming in and filling in. And give uh, us the total real quick. There, we're going to have to have to leave you in a minute. So let's get the okay the stats here if we can. Well, they ended up again. Finally, the the 267 yards rushing and 65 yards passing, and they ended up with uh, 17 first downs to Bradley's three. Just three first downs, and as Johnny had mentioned, a great performance by the Cleveland defense all year long. The only point scored against it was in the Hickson ball game. We're winding down with about a minute and a half to go. Once again, I uh, hope you enjoyed this live telecast from Raider Field, Benny Monroe Stadium. The Cleveland Blue Raiders win their third straight Sports Vision trophy in the rivalry renewed with a dominating performance here tonight. Offensively, defensively, they took, the, took it over in the trenches. And we appreciate uh, all the fans, the great sportsmanship, the effort by the players, all the people at Jones Management checking the cash. I want to thank Larry Burns. Had a, had a lot of help with me getting this thing ready. We're getting ready to go, and we're going to let the credits roll. Thank you, and good night from Benny Monroe Stadium on behalf of Johnny Borders, Dwayne Shriver, Al Miller, and me. We are going to we are going to leave you here in one minute. So I want to get all those people mentioned. I uh, started to say Larry Burns from Cleveland State did a great job for me in helping me get this thing ready. The Cleveland administration gave us a l everything we wanted tonight to get this thing going, gave us a certain times for everything to, everything to get underway, so we were ready with our stuff, allowed us to get up here in a good spot to bring this game to you. We appreciate the Cleveland administration for all they did tonight. Charlie Cogdale, Chuck Rockholt. So uh, we've got 30 seconds left to go, and uh, here comes Chuck Rockhold up the stairs, a happy man for the Cleveland Blue Raiders. Anything for us? Uh, yes, uh, I'd just like to say again how much we appreciate Alan Jones uh, supporting the Bradley uh, Cleveland Public Education Foundation tonight. He really uh, went out uh, and really wanted us to get, get uh, that support. We appreciate that very, very much. And good night, all, from Raider Field. Hope you enjoy the telecast.